in this section we will talk about interpreting the JSON encoded data. JavaScript object notation JSON attempts to strike a balance between human and machine readability. Armed with a few JSON rules, most humans can read JSON data, move past simply guessing at what it means and confidently interpret the data structures defined by the JSON data. At the same time, JSON data makes it easy for programs to convert JSON text into variables, making it very useful for data exchange between applications using APIs. You can find the details of JSON in RFC 8259 and in a number of sites found with the internet searches including the www.json.org. So, let's start with the interpreting the JSON. As data flows back and forth between our application and the network controller, that data is commonly written in JSON data format. You can think of that skill and that uh, task with two major branches. First, even ignoring the syntax and special characters, anyone who knows the topic can probably make an intelligent guesses about the meaning of many of the key value pairs. For example, without knowing anything about JSON syntax, you could probably determine from your prior knowledge of Cisco routers and switches that the JSON on the screen that lists two devices may be their host names and a list of interfaces on each device. You can see in here, this is JSON, yeah, but we have R1, most probably that's the host name, R2, that's also the host name, and the interfaces of the router 1 and these are the interfaces of the router 2, right? Okay, honestly, you probably already know everything needed to do this kind of intelligent guessing. However, to perform the second type of task where you analyze the JSON data to find the data structures including objects, lists, and key value pairs, you need to know a bit more about JSON syntax. So let's go ahead with the key value pairs. In JSON syntax, guys, each and every column identifies one key value pair with the key before the column and the value after the column. So you can see in here we have one, two, and three key value pairs. These are the keys and these are the values. So first best is the key and Messi is the value. Second best is the key. Ronaldo is the value. Third best is the key and Pele is the value. Okay, let's go ahead with the key. Key is the text inside double quotes before the column used as the name that a references a value. Okay, we have already talked about this one. That should be in, yes, key should be inside the double quotes and this is our key and you can see it's inside the double quotes and that is before the double column you can see in here. So, inside the double quotes and before the column. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead with the value. Value is the item after the column that represents the value of the key, which can be a value can be a text, guys, that should be listed in double quotes, like in here and value also can be numeric if uh, our value is numeric that is listed without quotes 
that can be an array and object and they are uh, some special values and we will talk about more details on our later sections. Okay, on JSON syntax, when we need to list multiple key value pairs, we need to separate the pairs with a comma and as you can see in here, the first comma and the second comma. But where is the third comma? We don't use the comma at the end of the last key value pair. Okay, let's go ahead uh, with some more information. We have object and the array terms. Object uh, is a series of key value pairs enclosed in a matched pair of curly brackets. Here is the thing that we need to care about. Objects should be inside the curly brackets, guys, with an opening left curly bracket and its matching right curly bracket. When it comes to array, array is a series of values, not key value pairs. Okay, pay attention to this one. And enclosed in a matched pair of square brackets this time with an opening left square bracket and its matching right square bracket. So what about the key value pairs inside the objects? All key value pairs inside an object conform to the earlier rules for the key value pairs we talked already and all values inside, inside the arrays Conform to the earlier rules for formatting values, for example, double quotes around the text, no quotes around the numbers, okay? Below of the screen shows a single array in JSON format. In here you can see a single array in JSON format. Notice the JSON data begins with a woo, square bracket and then lists three text values in here. They are Messi, Ronaldo, and Dybala. And the values could have been a mix of values and it ends with another square bracket. While example on previous slide shows only the array itself, JSON arrays can be used as a value in any key value pair. Figure on the screen does just that and shown in a graphic to allow easier highlighting of the arrays and the objects. The JSON text in the figure uh, includes two arrays as values and uh, these values each found just after a colon indicating they are values really. So here is the first JSON array, so here it is, JSON array with, please pay attention to start and the finish at the first JSON array and this is the first favorite players and they are Messi, Ronaldo and Tibala. and this is the second JSON array and it's the favorite teams and they are Barcelona, Juventus and the Dortmund. So now let's think about the entire structure of the JSON data in previous slide. It has a matched pair of curly brackets to begin and end the text encapsulating one object. That object contains two columns so there are two key value pairs inside the object. When you think about the broader structure as depicted in the figure on the screen you can see now, this JSON file has one JSON object itself with two key value pairs. Please note that this figure does not show the correct JSON syntax for the lists. It instead is intended to make sure you to see the structure of the one object and its two key value pairs. To drive home the idea of how to find JSON objects, you can consider the example shown in this slide. 
This figure shows the correct JSON syntax, guys, and it has the following. There is one object for the entire set because it begins and ends with curly braces, you can see in here. Then the outer object has two keys and the first key is Wendell's favorites and the second key is the interface config. The value of each key value pair is another object. So each with curly braces and you can see them here, here and here. And also we have three key value pairs. Key value pair one, two, three. Key value pair one, two, three. Okay, the JSON example in this slide shows how JSON can nest objects and arrays. That is, JSON puts one object or array inside another. Much of the JSON output you will see as you learn more and uh, more about network automation will include JSON data with nested arrays and uh, objects. Okay, so far all the JSON examples uh, show lots of empty space. JSON allows for white space or not depending on your needs. For humans, reading JSON can be a lot easier with the text organized with space and aligned. For instance, having the matched opening and closing brackets sit at the same left offset makes it much easier to find which brackets go with which. When stored in a file or sent in a network, JSON does not use white space. For instance, earlier in this section, figure on above of the screen showed one JSON object with three key value pairs with white space taking five lines. However, stored in a file or sent over a network, the JSON would look like as the blow of the screen. Most of the tools you might use when working with JSON will let you toggle from a pretty format, which is good for humans, to a rare, raw format, which is good for computers. You might see the pretty version literally called pretty or a beautified or spaced, while the version with no extra white space might be called minified or raw.